Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to get started with Hugo. So first of all I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code, close the welcome screen and open up a new terminal. Now I'm going to create a directory called Hugo Website Demo. I'm going to change into that directory. Clear the screen. The part of Hugo is there's lots of GitHub theme templates, so let's have a look at some of them right now. Here I'm going to open up a web browser and I'm going to search for GitHub Hugo themes. And I'm going to click on this link here. And this is a list of lots of Hugo themes within GitHub that are free to use. As you can see, there's quite a few here. And I'm going to look for the Hugo theme basic, that one there. So this is the one I'm going to use for our demo. Now I'm going to open up the Explorer, open a folder and browse to the folder that I was using for this demo, which is empty. Just close that down, go to the terminal again. Now I'm going to get to clone the repo with the theme. I'm going to paste that in. It's going to clone that down into that directory for me. Okay, that's it downloaded. I'm going to clear the screen again. As you can see, there's a Hugo theme learn folder. Just change into that directory. And you can see there's an example site folder, which is the example we're going to run. So if I see the end of that, clear the screen, look at the dir. You can see the contents in here. To run this, I'm just going to type Hugo, that's going to build and compile the website. Back to Explorer and expand that, and you can see the example site with all the content. Let's have a look at that now. So in order to run that, you just type Hugo Server, and that will run it locally. You can see the web URL, I'm just going to copy the local host, colon 1313, pop that into the browser. And there is our example website up and running. So now I'm just going to split screen that. I'm going to put that on the left. I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code for that theme on the right hand side. There we go. Move the screen about a little bit. Just make it a little bit easier for people to see. So for the content, I'll go to the index MD file, the markdown file, that's the index for this page, the content. So the Hugo Learn theme is there, you can just see that. So let's just make a little change to that. So if I just now click save, that should update the theme on the left. Using a hot reload. Yep, there we go. Let's change that again. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and click save, and that should reload. Just click on the browser. Yep, there we go. That's the change again. Let's delete that now. I'm going to make the font a little bit smaller. So this is markdown, so if we do hash, 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 that will change the font size down two or three. Save that, and then you'll see it update the left-hand side. Yep, there we go. So on the left hand side there's a tip. This is to do with the markdown. So if I change the tip and change that to info, that'll go from green to kind of yellow orangey colour. I'll do save. So that's an unbuilt Hugo theme. Looking good. Let's go to the basics. Let's go to the basics folder. Well, let's look at the markdown for that. In fact, let's go to the requirements. Go to the index for the requirements folder. Let's choose that on the left. So again, the code's on the right. The website's on the left. 
Let's go ahead now and change this text. Let's make Hugo bold. So if we put star star around the word Hugo, that makes it bold in Markdown. Again, if I click save, that should update on the left. I don't even need to click on it, it should just upload, just refresh it, sorry. There we go. Magic. Looking good. So it just shows you how quickly you can change the content on the right and it will update the content on the left. So let's close that down. So while it's running, you can see the, it's still running in the terminal. And if I go ahead and press Control C, that will stop the site from running locally. Press Control C and it stops the site. So if I go back to the website and just refresh that, you'll see that it stops running locally. Yep. If I go back to Visual Studio Code and run Hugo Server again, that will start it up in the same URL. Just building it just now, that's it built. So if I go back to the browser again, just refresh that, that will reload. So that's how you run Hugo locally and make changes and save them. And that's it back running again. So the Cloud Family website is using the same theme that we've already written before, and that's running on GitHub pages, which is free. So this is an example of some of the content type things you can do. So you can have a blog. So we have got like Cloud Champions. For each month we have a Cloud Champion on this blog on this website. So this month, that last month was Izzy's. So let's look at style, uh, study guides. And you can go and see the EZ104 study guide. Just showing you some examples of what you can do. Go into projects. We've got a project section where you can see people's projects that they're working on. We've got Ben Coleman's ARM template viewer, Sam Cogan's Azure ARM templates, Azure charts. Go back to the cloud family, you can see a picture of the pictures of the people who contribute to the cloud family. So this is just examples of the kind of things you can do. So you can use Hugo to basically create your own website and it's really, really straightforward. Very easy to do. So I hope you find this useful and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.